classified question is a GMAT 650 to 700 level problem solving question in sequences and series. Concept tested sequence series, what kind of a sequence it is, we will deduce it, we will also use some concepts from number properties, primarily concepts about LCM and number properties. In the first 1000 natural numbers, how many integers exist such that they satisfy two conditions. The first one, the number should leave a remainder of 4 when divided by 7 and should leave a remainder of 9 when divided by 11. Right. Before you start, right, check couple of things and then let us proceed if these turn out to be a no. Right. Are the remainders same? No. The positive remainders are 4 and 9 for these two. Quickly compute the equal and negative remainder to see whether they are same. The equal and negative remainder for the first one is a minus 3 and for the second one is a minus 2. Even these are not same. Got a no as an answer for this. Now let us proceed to solving this question in the format that we are going to be doing. If these ended up being same, then we could have quickly jumped into the LCM method and be done with the question. Now that the remainders positive or negative are not same for both these sequences, we will list down the first few terms, probably 7, 8 terms for the first sequence and the second sequence and we have to manually through brute force find out the first term that is common to both these sequences because we want a number which belongs to the first sequence and to the second sequence. It should be a number that leaves a remainder of 4 when divided by 7 and a remainder of 9 when divided by 11. So, it should be a part of both the sequence. It should be a common element to both the sequence. Start with the first sequence. Sequence 1, right. The first term is a 4. 4 divided by 7, the remainder is 4. You know that if we are talking about a remainder being constant when divided by 7, it is going to be an arithmetic production. All of these numbers are going to be essentially, say, n divided by I will write it here, n divided by 7, we are getting a remainder of 4, which means let us say there is a quotient, these numbers are going to be of the form, which is 7 q plus 4. So, take q to be equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, you are going to get subsequent terms of the sequence, which essentially means they are in an arithmetic progression with a common difference of 7. So, 4, 11, 18, 25, 32, 39, 46, 53, 60, 67. Do not worry, just list on. If you have listed a little more than what is required, there is no harm with that. The second sequence is a sequence which leaves a remainder of 9 when divided by 11. The first number of the sequence is a 9 and then the sequence is obviously going to be n divided by 11 leaves us a quotient which is say p and a remainder of 9. So, it is going to be 11 p plus 9. So, keep adding, p, take p to be 0, 1, 2, 3. We are going to keep increasing it by 11. A common difference of 11 is what we are looking at. So, the second sequence is also in an AP with a common difference being 11. 9 plus 11 which is 20. No, not found in the first one. 20 plus 11, 31. Again, not in the first sequence. 31 plus 11, this is equal to a 42. Not found in the first sequence. 42 plus 11 is 53. Yes, we find 53. So, the first step is computing the first term that is common to both the sequence. That happens to be a 53. So, step 1 is done. So, first term of our sequence, a number that leaves a remainder of 4 when divided by 7 and a remainder of 9 when divided by 11. Such a number, the first such number which is a positive integer, which is a natural number is 53. Done. Now, what is going to be the next term? Look at it. This keeps hopping in steps of 7. This keeps moving in steps of 11. So, essentially, we are talking about a multiple of 7 plus something, a multiple of 9 plus something. So, if you bring both of them together at 57, 53, then it is going to be 53 plus 7, that plus 7, that plus 7 from if you make, let us say, reset the counter to be a 0 here, it is going to move 7, 14, 21 from that point. This is going to move us 11, 22, 33 from this point. A number which is going to be the meeting point for both the sequences will both be a multiple of 7 from 53 and a multiple of 11 from 53, which means that the next term in the sequence is going to be a common multiple of the common differences, which is 7 and 11. So, the common difference is going to be the LCM of 7 and 11, which is equal to a 77. So, how will the terms of our sequence look, which will satisfy both the condition? It is going to move with the common difference of 77 which means it is going to be 77 k plus the first term being a 53. So, essentially the sequence is what we are looking for is 77 k plus 53 where k takes values from 0 and goes on. It is not going to go up to infinity because we are going to stop at the first 1000 natural numbers. Next thing to find out is when will the last term appear? Easiest way to go about it. 999 is the largest three digit positive integer divided by 77 and then let us see what remainder we get. 
and then we can deduce from there something, right? So, we are starting with the 0th multiple of 77 plus 53, that is our first term. We will see what is the last multiple. If it ended up being, let us say the 11th multiple, 0 to 11 will be 12 terms. If it ended up being the 14th multiple, 0 to 14 will be 15 terms. That is where we are going to end. 99, 999 by 77, once this will make it as 77, leaves us with a 22, 229, 277 into 3 is a 231. So, therefore, it will only go 2 times. 2 times this is a 154, 231 would have been exactly this, so the remainder of 75 is what we are going to have. 999 is essentially 77 into 12 plus a 75. We are looking at numbers which are 77k plus 53. We have 22 more, so subtract 22 from this, 977 will be the last term of the sequence that we are looking at, right. 75 is 999 is 77 into 12 plus 75. We want a 77k plus 53. So, subtract 25, 22 from this, you are going to end up with a 53, 77k plus 53. So, 977 is going to be the last term of the sequence. So, we are starting with 53 and then we are adding 77 to each, that is going to be the next term will be a 130, so on and so forth and end up at 977. This is 0 into 77 plus 53. This is 12 into 77 plus 53. So, we are starting with the 0th multiple of 77, going all the way up to the 12th multiple of 77. So, 1 to 12 is 12 numbers, add a 0, which also has to be counted, makes it 13 numbers. So, how many such numbers exist? We have 13 such numbers in the sequence. 13 choice D is the correct answer to the question.